Question number 111 is from the topic of logic gates, semiconductor electronics, isn't it? So we'll just try to solve this like this is A, so this will be A bar. Okay, yes, not gate. Now this is a uh, nor gate, isn't it? So this will be A plus B. Now this is A bar plus B bar and this is uh, or gate, this is nor gate now. So, how will you solve this? Isn't it? So, this is equal to, so this is simply an AND gate. Okay, now let's, let's look for something that is similar to an AND gate now. If you see this, this is not an AND gate, this is again not an AND gate, this is not an AND gate and if you carefully observe here, this is an AND gate. Only when both are 0, this is equal to 0. Only when both are 1, it is 1. In other cases, it is 0. So this is option number 4 and 4 is my correct answer. Okay. Question number 112 is from the topic of uh, uh, current electricity and they have given a very simple question and yeah, color coding of resistors and grading of resistors as per this. So this is a exactly very simple simple question and uh, during the examination time when you get this you can think about B.B. Roy, his wife who was very good and uh, the gold silver necklace that she wore. So yes everything can be done for that in that matter. So this is 4 while it is 7 into 10 to the power brown is 1 and uh, plus or minus gold is actually 5%. So it's a direct question 470 kilo ohm 5%. So my answer for this question is option fourth. Okay, let's go to question number 113 now. So 113 is from the topic of electrostatics again, but this time it is actually about a capacitor. Now capacitor, capacitance is 6 microfarad, isn't it? Capacitance of a parallel bit capacitor with air as the medium is this much. When with the introduction of a dielectric medium, the capacitance becomes 30 microfarad. So obviously, see capacitance is equal to how much? 30. So that is equal to, I can simply write this as 30 is equal to epsilon r, right? Multiplied by C0. So this C0 is the initial one, 6. So this epsilon r is equal to 6. I mean, 30 by 6. So that will be. 5. Now permittivity is what they are asking, isn't it? So that is epsilon is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r. So this is just to be multiplied here. So this is 8.85 multiplied by 10 to the power minus of 12 multiplied by 5. Okay. So for that matter, my correct answer is 0 0.44 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 10. So this is what you are going to get. So yes, the correct answer for this question is option number two. Fairly easy question, but yes, it uh, demands the knowledge of these kind of things. This equation, right? Question number 114 is again more simpler than ever. Uh, a straight line motion, motion in one dimension. So a ball is thrown vertically downward. Vertically downward it is thrown. This is the initial velocity and uh, it hits the ground with the velocity so you have the final velocity you are required to find out the height you know it is a uniformly accelerated motion i mean uniformly accelerated motion so you can simply use v square is equal to u square this time the motion is towards the gravity direction itself so this is 2 vgh so h is equal to v square how much is that 6400 0, 0 minus of u square that is 400 divided by 2 into 10 so therefore i can take it as hmm. answer is 300 meter fairly straightforward and direct question they have asked here now the next question is from the topic of gravitation, routine kind of a question, more easier than ever, 72 Newton on the surface of earth, 
what is the gravitational force at a height of height equal to half the radius of earth you have the earth over here so this much is the distance that is radius and again there is another distance that is r by 2 so it is more easier than ever we have solved a question which is very similar to this in electrostatics in this paper isn't it so here how much is the force force is equal to g m m divided by r square so this is r plus r by 2 that is 3 r by 2 whole square that will be 9 r square divided by 4 so this much is gmm by r square is equal to 72 newton so that is 72 multiplied by 4 by 9 32 newton is the answer okay let's proceed to the next question now so question number 116 is from the topic of center of mass you have two bodies over here one of them has the mass of 10 kilogram and the other one has a mass of 5 kilogram right and they are separated by a distance of 1 meter okay and this rod is having a negligible mass we don't have to consider that the center of mass of the system from 5 kilogram particle is nearly at a distance of so either you can find the distance i mean the position of center of mass m1 r1 plus m2 r2 divided by m1 plus m2 you can take this as the origin okay so you can consider it in that way but another and then once you find the distance of center of mass we know that the center of mass is actually nearer to the heavier body so it is nearer to the heavier body somewhere like this you can uh, take the inverse ratio of mass as the distance from each of them so that is also possible in that way uh, another way to do is by learning the direct equations like this so if you want to find this much distance i mean you are supposed to find this particular distance isn't it x x is equal to other mass m2 multiplied by total distance 1 divided by m1 plus m2 5 plus 10 is 15 so what happens here is this is 2 sir 10 5 3 sir 15 so this is 2 by 3 uh, multiplied by 1 meter so you can take it as 100 centimeter 200 by 3 so this is 67 something centimeter so there will be so my answer is obviously option number 2 okay and the next question is very simple uh, a concept based question from the topic of pn junction diodes so semiconductor again strikes so yes width of diffusion region is increased how will that happen it will increase only if it is taken if it is connected in reverse bias so it's a straightforward question no need of much explanation from my side for that everybody must have solved this let's go to the next question now dual nature of radiation and matter isn't it so uh, the concept of this photosensitivity has been utilized for the purpose of framing this question see light of frequency 1.5 times that of threshold frequency if my threshold frequency is this much this is 1.5 5 times nu naught nu naught isn't it nu naught is the uh, light of frequency which is coming over there now what are they saying they they are saying that the frequency is halved now if you divide this by 2 now it becomes 0.75 nu naught now is it less than nu naught yes so this is less than the threshold frequency now if a light is falling on a photoelectric material where whose wavelength is less than the threshold i mean frequency is less than the threshold frequency then how can there be current it is not possible so obviously the in current is zero so for this question my answer is option third zero question number 119 is from the topic of your uh, ray optics and this time the question is from the telescope part now uh, limit of resolution has been asked in this question so assume that light of wavelength this much is coming from a star the limit of resolution it has a standard equation 1.22 lambda divided by the diameter so this is 1.22 multiplied by lambda is 600 1.22 lambda will be 600 into 10 to the power minus of 9 nanometer converting it into meter divided by 2 right so this is uh, how will what will be the answer for this question 
This is 3.66, some answer will be there like this. So this is my answer for this question. Answer is 4. For question number 119, okay. Question number 120 is from the topic of current electricity and this time uh, device called by the name of meter bridge has been asked in the paper. So you have this kind of an experiment to be done in class 11 practicals, isn't it? So yes, resistance wire connected in the left gap of a meter bridge balances 10 ohm resistance in the right gap. So let's take this as X ohm resistance and here there is 10 ohm resistance and the ratio is 3 is to 2. If this is 3, this is 2. The ratio can be taken directly. If I, I don't have to make this as 3 X by 5 or nothing of that kind. If the length of the resistance wire is 1.5 meter, yeah, this resistance wire is having 1.5 meter length and then the length of one ohm of the resistance wire is. Yeah, it's a direct easy question. So we can take the ratios here, isn't it? X by 3 is equal to 10 by 2. So obviously, Fifteen ohm. So we got a net resistance of this. Now we know that fifteen ohm is there in fifteen ohm is there in one point five meter. Now they are asking you one meter is having how much? I mean one ohm will be there in how much meters? So that is one point five divided by fifteen. So that is zero point one. So this is answer is option number one here. I am glad that they did not ask a question from potentiometer, otherwise you know potentiometer concept is slightly more uh, conceptual, I mean it, it requires some bit of more imagination and it requires a bit of more explanation than a typical question in meter bridge. So meter bridge is a more and more a simpler kind of a thing where the series combination and parallel combination of resistors can be proved and that exactly is our experiment in class 11. So let's go to the next few questions now.